Well, so the Tribeca Film Festival isn't just in Lower Manhattan anymore. Tomorrow, it will kick off in Harlem at the Apollo with a documentary about the legendary theater. But that's not all. There's a whole lot to explore over the next 10 days. When you gonna give me some time. And terminate the colonel's command. Terminate. Hello, stage. I think we're lost. As the Tribeca Film Festival gears up for its 18th year and counting, there's a whole lot in store for us to look forward to. The thing with Marty... And when Robert De Niro says Marty, he means THE Martin Scorsese. The two have worked together on eight films. Their ninth is The Irishman, coming to theaters and Netflix this fall. I understand you're a brother of mine. Yeah, yeah, glad to meet you. But first, we'll get to see these film legends in conversation at this year's festival. I will look at the nine films we've done or scenes that they've picked out, and hopefully I can come up with good questions that people will, will uh, be interested in. You have nothing to worry about. Problem and because he's your solved. friend, so it's easier. That, it's much easier talking to a friend than talking to us reporters. They're, it's more yeah. fun. Festival co-founder Ms. Jane Rosenthal gave us a rundown of yet another exciting lineup. I'm excited about our immersive uh, arcade, our new uh, online work, and the creators that come out of that. And I'm looking forward to Apocalypse Now in a new format and hearing Francis talk. Here's what I'm excited about. Can I tell you? Yeah. The Living Color anniversary. Yep. Because I love comedy. I love to laugh. Yeah, no, Living Color. I, I saw that it was 25 years since they stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. It's crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. Reality Bites is 25 years old. And we've got Spinal Tap, and then they're going to perform it. We've got uh, the Wu-Tang Clan will be here with uh, their documentary, and then they'll be performing afterwards. There is a film about uh, Linda Ronstadt and Sheryl Crow will be performing. What's also music to our ears is the Tribeca Film Festival celebrating its 18th anniversary, which calls for a trip down memory lane. What did you do when you turned 18? I can't remember because mine's so far away. Yours was like, what, 20 years ago you turned 18? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. I looked forward to probably going out and drinking. When I was 18, I was uh, studying acting and uh, going to night school. But meanwhile, 18 in um, Hebrew, uh, chai is life. Life goes on and the I festival know. is gonna keep moving I know, on. I can't wait and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up at pretty much every event I can. Okay. I'm just dropping names. I'll say I know you too and if I, I've been trying this every single year. Better work this year for me. I'm just gonna say I know you too and they'll let me Absolutely. in. Absolutely. You told me this last time, and it didn't work. All right, uh, we'll talk. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I never quit. So tickets are currently on sale. There are also two important dates to note. May 3rd, which is Free Friday. The movie showings are all free that day. Also May 4th, which is Family Day, and will include a free showing of Star Wars plus activities for everyone, Dan, so you can go.